Hello everyone, myself Sridhar from Cat Tech and today we are going to deal with uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, professional exams that is CSWPA more making exam so in that this is a PDF of sample question so in this question number one so I need to use uh, the prototype model which this zip file has from that I need to create the cavity for this prototype so you can read the question create a cavity block part bracket for the zip file and use the parting line tool to create this and these are the values of that block so the material I need to use cast steel then this is the mass of the cavity block I need to find these are the options we need to find out so let me browse software for this and let me open imported file so I will directly go to my more tool sample exam folder I will select this bracket so if you want to browse this universal step files and all you need to use solidworks open remember that so do you want to run the import diagnostic these are the advanced tools right now I don't want to run it so I just want to use this imported file so from the add-in you need to activate your mold tools oh, sorry from not from add-in from the command manager tab and I will shift to the mold tools and first I will create the parting line for this so select parting lines from here I will specify 0 degree and I will select top plane as a reference that full direction here and I will click on draft analysis let me select the split faces so that it can split the faces I can able to select the proper parting lines and use core cavity split is also check it and here you can see it has split the part according to the draft analysis so let me select this edges and I will go with add selected edges select these edges so we'll delete this extra edge Yes, these are the images I want to use for creation of parting line. So now the next step is I need to take this part file into assembly. I will directly go with make assembly from this part. So I need to save. So you just on the desktop also as a bracket. Now, 
I will use top down approach method to create that uh, cavity here. So I will go with insert from here. I will select new part. And in this new part, I will just edit this to create a new part inside this. So I will select right plane on this. I'm going to sketch now. So let me go with convert entity and I will select the edges which I want to convert now this edge should be somewhat outside so that I can able to create a cavity properly so I will create a block after that we will go with center line and I will select this point and midpoint of this and I will make it vertical so that I can able to create the symmetry in between so after all these specifications I need to go with dimensions let me see the dimension it is D and B so for D it is 10 inches so I will set the unit system to IPS so I will edit this sketch so I will use smart dimension and I will select this and equals to I want to create the global variable. It is asking for me. So yes, I want to create the global variable D. So value will specify as 10 inch. So next about this. So it is B. B 4.625. So select this and I will specify B which is equal to 4.625 fine so I think we have fully defined this sketch so what about A A is the length it is 3.125 so let it be so anyway it will be a 3.25 because we have already fully defined this so like with the workbench from the features I will go with extrude I will select the sketch from the mid plane I want to specify the value of the width is C C is about 10 inches so let me specify D here so the value is 10 right yeah now I have created the block so I want to convert this block into cavity for that I will go with insert from mold tools I will select cavity from here uh, design component I will select this and uniform scaling is activated 0% I will just click ok to create the cavity so from here let me hide this sorry from here let me hide this component and even surface also I need to hide yeah 
and this is our uh, mold cavity so I will open this component separately open part and for this I need to specify the material as cast stainless steel so I will assign the material cast stainless steel it's not here I will go with the red materials cast alloy steel cast stainless steel so I'll apply so after specifying this material so what I need to do I need to check the mass of this so I'll go with evaluate and I will select the mass properties so from here I can see the mass is 107.08 pounds so let me browse 107.08 so from the answer table let me check it it is answer A and here the answer A so whichever the value we, we got is correct so this is all about first question so we'll create few more videos about next questions so thank you for watching